Mabuhai, Kamastakayo, and welcome to another video. So this is just going to be a short little update on how the Hawthia plants are getting on under the new Mars Hydro TS1000 grow light. It's been about a month now of them being under this light. If you didn't see the unboxing video of this grow light, I'll pop a link to that up above and in the description below. Also at the end of this video, I'll be choosing the winners of the Name My Hybrids video I did a little while ago. I got two Hawthia I asked you guys to choose the cultivar names for. So yeah, like I said, it's been about a month and they're all doing very well under this light. Got some stress colours in some of them, although I think that could be partly due to the high temperatures we've had here recently. Especially nighttime temperatures, which can stress Hawthia out a little. I've got a Hawthia Care Guide video on the channel as well, if you've not seen that one. Again, links up above and in the description below. So yeah, this Hawthia Mordor is looking pretty dark. It's nice and plump though, and is taking up water. So not worried about this one being in dormant state. Awesome looking Hawthia though, that one. These ones have a nice shine to them. That's one way to tell if your Hawthia are happy and healthy, especially on these windowed ones. They will have a nice shine to them. Some of these will be do a repot soon though. They have outgrown the pots they're in, but at the moment they're happy, so why disturb them? This is the little Hawthia Paxiana my friend Phil got to me oh, about a year ago now. Grown a fair bit and has recently flowered for the first time as well. This is the smallest Hawthia species. Well, apparently the smallest that's known at the moment. Another beauty there in the centre. Atrophusca Mutant Watermelon. Edith got me that one last year. Looking pretty dark since being under this grow light. But again, it's nice and plump and has taken up water. It is one of my favourites, that one. Three Morganis here looking awesome. These have been pretty fast growing Morganis as well. Grown two or three new leaves in a year. That might sound slow, but for this species that's no time at all. Stunning windows on this one. Again, Edith got all three of these for me, and they are some of my favourites. Another Edith got for me a few years ago, Colmaniorum Hybrid, that's been flowering recently, and has some more flower spikes coming through. Bit of a tricky one to get to set seed though i found. Only managed to get it to set seed once, a single seed pod with about four seeds in, and none of them germinated unfortunately. I'll keep trying though. Some more Colmaniorum Hybrids. Silver Tarantula on the left, again from Edith, and two Dragon Kings from Ian's Hawthia, all flowered recently. And I've managed to cross the Silver Tarantula with one of the Dragon Kings. A couple of seed pods there. Hopefully these ones germinate because we could get some pretty cool looking offspring from this. I've also got a pollination video on the channel showing the technique I use for pollinating Hawthia flowers. Again, links up above and in the description below. Just turn the grow light off for now so you can better see the true colours of the plants. One of my absolute favourites here, Hawthia Amazing Deer. Another one from Ian's Hawthia. This did flower a few months back but unfortunately I had nothing else to pollinate it with. It will flower again though, hopefully along with some others. Another nice one here, Powder Snow that my friend Phil kindly sent to me. This I did manage to pollinate when it flowered with the Mordor that's next to it there. The seeds have germinated, but too early to see their markings yet. But hopefully there's some cool looking ones amongst them. Hawthia tonigra, which is a cross between Tortuosa and Nigra. From Cath of Purple and Thorns this one. And quite a fast grower as well. Certainly faster than Nigra, which is one of the slowest growing Hawthia. I do have one of those here as well, again from Cath this one. It's probably grown a centimetre or two in about a year. So yeah, pretty slow, but doing well. One here from a friend Clyde of Morris Park in the Ozarks. Grown a lot since you sent it Clyde. In fact I've had to propagate this one already. Just constantly keeps producing offsets. Quite similar in appearance to Paxiana, just larger. But yeah, nice clump in Hawthia that one. Another nice looking Hawthia this one, Grown Waldy. Is in flower at the moment, but not having much luck pollinating this one. No seed pods yet, but still has more flowers to open, so again I'll keep trying. Another one of my all time favourites, Tsukikagi. Again from Edith a couple of years ago now. Grown a fair bit, has a nice shine to it as well. Managed to pollinate this one several times, produced a lot of seeds. In fact the two hybrids we're going to choose the names for at the end of the video is offspring from this plant. As well as this one, Hawthia Hakuma. 
turned dichotomous this one, which means the main growing point divided into two branches. Pretty cool. Got a lot of seed from this one as well. These are for Hawthia arachnoidea, the very first Hawthia I grew from seed over three years ago now. Flowering as well, but it took these a while for their flower stalks to fully mature. They used to get to a certain height and then shrivel up in the centre of the stalk and just flop over. I've had that happen with a few Hawthia and I'm not sure what causes that. It's probably similar to what happens with cactus buds sometimes. For whatever reasons, they can sometimes abort the flower and the buds just drop off the plant. So yeah, very happy with this grow light. Plants are doing well under it, just as much as they were with the old TS-1000 model. Next test might be with some seedlings, so I might move this light and see how we get on with some young cactus seedlings under it. Remember, if you're interested in this light or any from Mars Hydro, there's a link in the description to their official website, as well as my coupon code you can use to get a bit of a discount as well. Alright, let's choose the cultivar names for the two Hawthia hybrids. So like I said earlier, I did a video a little while back where I asked you to choose the names for two hybrids I created. This is the first one, which was Plant A, a cross between Hakuma and Tsukikage. So Hakuma is the mother plant of this one, and Tsukikage is the father. Grown a fair bit since that video. I'll use the wheel of names to choose, it's the fairest way of picking a winner. Thank you for all your entries, we had some pretty cool and creative names that were suggested. So let's spin the wheel and see what the name will be for this first one, and who named it. Wayne Brown with the name of Emerald Cat's Tongue. That's a cool cultivar name. Suits the plant well, I think. Well done, Wayne. I'll get the label made up at the end of the video as well. So this one was Plant B, again a cross between Hakuma and Tsukikage. But this time the mother plant is Tsukikage and the father is Hakuma. Spin the wheel again for the entries. Oh, awesome! Lynn from Desert Plants of Avalon, with the name of Edith Starr. Ah, oh, that's a lovely name. Well done, Lynn. We'll get the labels made for them now. Right, I've printed the labels out. I've had a few people ask in previous videos what label maker I use. It's uh, Brother P-Touch, with black on white tape. Definitely better than writing on the labels, because these will last pretty much forever. And I'll put your names on the back of the label as well. Now Lynn's one. And again on the back, named by Desert Plants of Avalon. Thank you to everyone who suggested names for these two plants. Good bit of fun that was. So thank you all for watching, hope you enjoyed the video, if you did please remember to like and comment, consider subscribing to the channel, hit the notification bell as well so you know when I upload a new video, you will be safe and well and I shall see you next time, salamat pot ba'alam, bye for now.